Hello everyone, this is from KSO College of Arts and Science for Women, Trishangoda. I am Sri Devi A, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce e, School of Commerce. Let us see Marketing Unit 2. Functions of Marketing Marketing is a very broad term and cannot be explained in a few words. Marketing is an essential business function that helps in making the customer aware of the product or service that are offered by a business. The definition of marketing as defined by the American Marketing Association is as follows. Marketing is a process of planning and executing conception, pricing, promotion and distribution of idea, goods and service to exchange, create that satisfy individual and organizational objectives. Functions of marketing are those except that define the practice of marketing and are being discussed in the details in these articles. And next one. Following are the functions of marketing. Identify needs of the consumer. The first steps in marketing functions is to identify the needs and wants of the consumer that are presented in the market. Next one planning. The next steps in marketing functions is planning. It is considered very important for your business to have a plan. Product development. After the details are received from the consumer research, the product is developed for use of the consumer standardization and grading standardization refers to the process of ensuring uniformity in the product which means that a product developed by a business shall be standard for every consumer with the same quality and design and this is one of the key aspects that needs to be maintained by the business grading is refers to as the process of classifying product that are similar in quality and characteristics Grading helps in making the customer know about the quality and the product offered. Next one is branding. Branding is refers to as the process of identifying the name of the producer with the product. And next one buying, assembling and selling. Clock and clock defined the marketing functions or three groups. Functions of exchange functions, physical supply and facilitating function. The first group of marketing function is function of exchange and this group company of buying, assembling and selling. An intelligent buying followed by a successful selling. Both the function, both the buying and assembling are vital to the success of a business. Buying or purchasing marketing is concerned with the buying and selling. Buying and selling are very close to each other. They are inseparable. If one person want to buy a product, then another person who is having that product must be willing to selling. Next one is assembling. According to Hall's law, assembling means the seek out of source of supply, buying, buying visually as the quality, quantity and variety and making commodity available when and where they are wanted. Goods are collected from big and small town and village at the central place for the further movement to the factory, mill and consumer etc. Assembling is very helpful to the producer and consumer. Next one is selling. Selling is the other side of exchange function. Selling is the heart of marketing task. Selling is business means the transfer of ownership and goods or service to the buyer in exchange for money. Selling surprised of all those personal and impersonal activity involved in finding, securing and developing a demand for a given product or service the sale of it. And next one transportation. Physical supply or physical distribution of goods is one of the functions of marketing. What is transportation? Transportation means the physical movement of the person and goods from one place to another. For the large scale development of trade and commerce, cheap and rapid transport is essential. Transport is the blood stream of your nation economy. Warehouse. Warehouse receipt helps the buyer get finance from the banker by pledging them. Thus, without the selling the goods at the low price, business people enjoy financial help in the dull days when money is needed. Public warehouses are built in modern method which reduce all type of losses and safeguard the goods. Private warehouse is owned by a private and large business house such as manufacturer, wholesaler, retailer etc. And next one channel of distribution. A typical geographical separation of a manufacturer or producer from the ultimate consumer requires some means of from a gap. From the movement of 
goods and services from the place of producer through middleman uh, to the ultimate consumer user has been thrown out of the channelized flow the, this process involved establishing distribution strategy including channel of distribution and providing the physical handling channel of distribution and the physical distribution by channel of distribution we means the intermediary or the process through which the product or transferred from producer to the ultimate user physical distribution is concerned with the flow of goods to the ultimate consumer including transportation warehousing and inventory management thank you